So today we're going to end our series on appreciating the journey with prosperity. So let me ask you a question. How do you define success? What does that look like for you? What does a successful life mean to you? What does a life well lived mean? These are important questions to ask because they are going to determine the trajectory of your life. So I'd like to go through four P's that help us wrap up this definition of prosperity. As I define, it's something that's abundant, it's overflowing, it's not achieving a specific goal or an end result, but it's a process of overflowing. And so I'd like to share these four P's. The first one is process. Simply, how you get from here to there. It is the journey, not the outcome that we're looking for. We live in an outcome-based society where we base all our success on achievement and outcomes and success. And I propose to you that it's more the journey. The next P after that is progress. It's not just alone a process of getting from point A to point B. It's about showing progress. It's a building process. And the best example that I can share is John Lewis, who recently passed away. John Lewis was a wonderful leader who was behind the scenes, who worked towards social justice and equality for over 50 years. And what I loved about him, it was a man behind the scenes, just doing the work day in and day out. And so last Sunday, I had the opportunity to learn more about John on the Sunday shows where so many people were sharing his life. But one leader really hit the nail on the head that said, John, and basically for John, progress was his legacy. And I love that quote because really that's what he was about. And really that's what should be about us too and our lives. We're not perfect, we're growing, we're constantly growing and we're making progress. So it's progress over perfection. It's keeping on each and every day in the trenches of life. The next P is productive. And that's where Jesus, when he talked to his disciples, he said, you did not choose me, but I chose you to bear fruit, fruit that will last. And I think that that's a wonderful example of being chosen to be productive, to be valuable, to overflow in abundance, but it's not about you, it's about serving others on this greater cause. And then finally, the ultimate prize, the last P is prize, and that is God is the reward, that God is the ultimate prize. And Hebrews 11 says, God is the rewarder of those who diligently seek him. So just remember, as you're trying to define success in your life, that God is the prize, and just to keep on being who you are and grow in prosperity and service to others.